Okay, let's get started. First of all, thank you all for your interest in my talk. I hope you have been enjoying so far your week at the OpenStack Summit here at Boston. So today I'm talking about my experience working with an OpenStack startup called Ormuco. So let me start with some presentation. My name is Jules Fakuri. I'm currently part of the engineering team at Ormuco since April 2014. It's been three years now. Before Ormuco, I worked for Ericsson in Canada and I received my engineering degree from McGill University in Montreal. Ormuco is a cloud-based service provider. We offer public, private, and hybrid cloud solutions based on OpenStack. We started initially as a telecommunication uh, provider in 2008, delivering traditional IT services. Currently, we are an HP Helion Network Charter member with offices in Montreal, London, and Seattle. I was quite lucky at Tomuco to work in different aspects with OpenStack. I worked in technical support, I worked in research and development, and I even contributed to the business side. I hope to share with you today my own experience uh, navigating with the OpenStack community and the challenges we faced both personally and as a company. My talk will be divided into three main sections. First, I will be talking about uh, the first step I took to get started with OpenStack and highlighting the challenges I faced my first year at Ormuco. Second, I will give you insight into my experience working with system administrators and software developers, highlighting the lessons I have learned from this experience. And finally, I will shed the light on the business use case of OpenStack and talk about my own experience navigating in the business world. So at the end of the talk, uh, all of you, whether you are an engineer or a manager, will leave the room with a good understanding of a typical career path with OpenStack, what you can expect, and how to prepare. So getting started with OpenStack can be quite challenging and daunting. Uh, OpenStack is a big and complex project. It's important to know how to take the right steps to be as effective and possible in your learning process. Let's quickly review what is OpenStack. So it's a, it's a software to do cloud computing. It provides uh, the platform to consume compute, networking, and storage resources. Those resources could be deployed either in a public cloud or in a private cloud for a single organization use. OpenStack is a collection of open source projects you have different, different projects servicing different needs. Uh, the code is written in Python, and there's a large community of operators, developers, contributing to OpenStack and developing new features. OpenStack started in 2010 as a joint project between Rackspace and NASA. It works as on, on a six-month release cycle. Over the last several years, we had 15 distributions so far the latest one being Okata, and the up upcoming one being Pike. The project is managed by the OpenStack Foundation, and hundreds of companies have recognized its potential and joined the OpenStack project. So let's suppose you are a new engineer at your company tasked at working with OpenStack, or maybe you are a manager interested in the potential benefits OpenStack can bring to your organization or your, or, or your customers. How do you get started working with and learning OpenStack? The first step I would recommend you to do is to try OpenStack. Go on the major public cloud provider in the market based on OpenStack and just create test account, register with, with them and see which one, which, which cloud works best, compare the features and experiment with OpenStack. After you tried OpenStack, I would recommend you to start learning the technical concept. You know, you can attend a summit. Being here is a great opportunity to discover OpenStack from different perspectives. You can watch past summit videos, read user stories, or get technical books on the subjects. Once you learn and, and master the technical concept, you can start deploying OpenStack on your own. I would recommend to take the latest release, take a distribution of your choice. You can install OpenStack on Ubuntu or Red Hat Linux and follow the official installation uh, uh, guide step by step. I'll give more detail later on on how to use the documentation of OpenStack. 
So I've highlighted here my initial uh, project working with OpenStack in my first year at Tormuco. I've done a competitive analysis of major public cloud provider on the market. I built my own test server my first year at Tormuco, and I've used that test server to work on several technical projects. For example, I uh, installed uh, Red Hat OpenStack using Packstack on a single node. I learned Ceph, and I installed a Ceph cluster on virtual machines. And I followed the official installation guide to, to do a complete installation of OpenStack services on CentOS virtual machines. Working on those initial projects in my first year at Tomuco really allowed me to uh, experiment with and practice with what I have read and learned about OpenStack. I highly recommend, if you're just starting with OpenStack, to set up your own test server. This will keep you uh, to, and, and, and push you to constantly innovate and develop your technical skills. So I highly recommend to set up your test server early on in your learning process. Navigating through the documentation can be quite challenging. The, op the official website of OpenStack contains a tons of information, information for uh, developers, for uh, uh, operators, and so on. I've highlighted the three sets of documentation I found quite useful in my first year. The first one are the installation tutorials. Though, as I mentioned before, those are the step-by-step -step, uh, commands to install and configure all the OpenStack services. You also have the user guide. Uh, those are the commands to interact with OpenStack from your CLI, speci specifically useful for system administrators. What I did myself to learn them, I kept a cheat sheet of the most useful command. For example, for Nova, you have the command to create a server. For Keystone, you have the command to list users, and so on. And finally, you have the API guides, uh, mainly used by software developers. Those will provide the, the list of APIs for each OpenStack service. You can use them to uh, automate actions such as creating hundreds of servers with one code or deploying container, uh, st storage containers. My first year at Tormuco, working with OpenStack, was quite challenging. I faced many obstacles. I've highlighted here the four main challenges uh, I faced uh, while working with OpenStack. If you are a manager, if you're managing young engineers or developers who are working with OpenStack, you can expect your staff to face similar problems. So here's what you have to do. The first challenge I faced was the steep learning curve. OpenStack really requires you to acquire advanced technical skills. What I did myself to overcome this challenge was to really understand how to use documentation and work on uh, several technical projects on my test server. Not only does OpenStack require you to, get to, add to acquire advanced technical skills, you also need to develop a cross domain technical expertise. For example, if you are a software developer at your company developing code with OpenStack, you still need to have some basic Linux system administration skills to be able to understand OpenStack error messages or to troubleshoot a controller node which has stopped working. As a manager, I would recommend you to encourage cross-domain projects among your teams. Uh, you can also uh, have different experts in, 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 uh, in several fields sharing the knowledge among the employees. The other challenge I faced was the rapid six-month release time frame of OpenStack. By the time I was done uh, learning, op uh, learning a version of OpenStack and installing that version, a new version was being released with hundreds of features being added. This was a challenge not only for myself, but also for our de development and uh, deployment team. Each time we had to upgrade OpenStack version, we had to update our software tests and packages. We also had to adapt our uh, deployment and branching model to fit with the OpenStack release cycle. What you can do as an employee is uh, join an OpenStack team. You will have the opportunity to work on features before they get released. This will help you stay ahead of the OpenStack technology. And finally, the large community behind OpenStack, the fact that, the fact that you have many teams working on different components of OpenStack 
can be also a challenge because my first year, for example, I, I found it quite difficult to find information in the right place or to ask a question in the right channel. So it's important when you've started OpenStack to, to really understand the framework, the architecture of this project, and take the time to go through the website and understand the different teams and, and people working on the OpenStack services. Finally, OpenStack is an open source project. It really gives you the opportunity to get involved and give back to the community. You can uh, do so by first by subscribing to OpenStack mailing list. You have mailing list for developers, uh, operators, testers. Those will provide you with regular updates on what's happening with the current projects. You can join an OpenStack group attend their meetings either physically or through IRC. You can go to meetups locally or internationally. You can answer and ask questions and ask OpenStack. And finally, if you're a developer, you can fix bug and contribute to the code of OpenStack. Earlier in the summit, on, in the weekend, there, were, there was an event by the Upstream Institute. They gave useful information on how to contribute uh, bug fixes to the OpenStack software. I think it's important to not work in isolation with OpenStack. Uh, you have an opportunity here to give back to the community and at the same time develop your technical skill and work with people in the field. So after I became comfortable with OpenStack, it was time for me after one year at Ormuco to work with the research and development team, mainly with the system administrators and the software developers at Ormuco. So before I give you details about my experience working with the R&D team, let me tell you quickly how the engineering department is structured at Ormuco. So at Ormuco, we have three main engineering teams. The first one is the network and support team, responsible of handling all client technical support requests. The second team at Ormuco is the automation team, responsible of uh, developing the tools to automate uh, OpenStack installation and configuration. And the third team is the system engineering team responsible of developing the, uh, the code, the APIs, and the user interface for our main uh, public and private clouds. I'm currently part uh, at Omico of the system engineering team, but I had the chance over my three years to be part uh, and work with each one of those teams. I would like now to give you uh, an overview of my career progression at Ormuco year by year, highlighting the training I received on a yearly basis. So my first year at Ormuco, I was part of the technical support team. I, I was working with engineers and uh, technicians to uh, handle client technical uh, support requests. At the same time, I was learning OpenStack and analyzing emerging technologies. I received training from uh, Cisco on routing and switching and I attended my first OpenStack Summit at Vancouver in 2015. I remember back then I was in the same shoes as some of you attending my first summit. This was a great opportunity for me to learn and discover OpenStack. Year two, I joined the research and development team. Uh, I worked first with the system administrators, then with the software developers. We really, really, we really developed the cloud infrastructure and the software for our enterprise clients. I received extensive training from Red Hat on OpenStack and Linux system administration. And I even followed some courses on Python to refresh my programming background. And I also joined the OpenStack Magnum team weekly meetings. Joining the, the meetings allowed me to understand better how OpenStack project development was being done. In my third and current year, I matured in the, in the engineering department, working on critical engineering project. Also, I've been contributing closely to sales and business development. For example, in, in my current year, I've been delivering presentation to stakeholders and helping develop sales and business tools for the company. I received training again from Cisco on business analysis and technical sales. I would like here to share you the milestone I, 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 I delivered with the R&D team, working with the research and development team, 
uh, really was a great opportunity for me to work with high-end technologies and develop features that customers were using on a daily basis. With the system administrator team, we deployed new region. We started initially with one data center in Montreal, expanded and deployed a data center in the UK. Later on, we had a data center in the Middle East. It was important for us at Ormuco to deploy a data center close to the client location to respect data sovereignty requirements. We also developed tools and, and techniques to automate the installation of OpenStack and the deployment of test and production environments. With the software developer, developer team, we developed first the cloud portal for our public and private cloud, the portal where customers could sign in and create virtual resources. We also developed a reseller portal for our business partners. As we grew with Atomico, we started to build business partnership with resellers. Resellers could reuse our solution and sell it in the respective market. So the, the reseller portal allowed partners to monitor usage and consumption. Finally, we developed uh, as well with the software development team, a cloud management interface used by the technical support team. This interface allowed them to manage all the data centers and the policies across the clouds. i summarize here the technical training I received on, you know, over my three years at Ormuco. As I mentioned before, on the system administration side, I found the Red Hat courses to be quite useful, uh, speci specifically the RHCSA and the RHCE certification are very popular in the Linux system administration field. On the software side, I would recommend you to get uh, courses, online courses or technical books to learn Python if you are a backend developer or HTML, CSS and JavaScript if you're more focused on front-end technologies. Also, Cisco and Mirantis have useful doc, uh, courses and certification on OpenStack and networking. Uh, the OpenStack Foundation itself has their own certification program on OpenStack. Finally, remember that attending OpenStack events, joining OpenStack teams are good ways for you to train yourself and develop your skills. The mentorship I received at Ormuco uh, in my uh, engineering uh, team was critical uh, for my success. My mentor at Ormuco allowed me to really uh, guide me, he guided me through my project and gave me feedback along the way. He allowed me to, 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 know, to understand myself and to know which skills I had to develop. The mentorship program could take the form in your company as of a new higher training program to quickly bring employees up to speed. It could also take the form of a career and professional development service to plan the long-term growth of employees. It's worth to mention here that the OpenStack Foundation has their own mentorship program sponsored by the women of OpenStack. It is open to all genders, male and female. You can sign up as mentees or mentors and they will match you up in pairs. You will have the opportunity to work on project for a few weeks or months. I think that's a great opportunity for anyone new to OpenStack who, who want to contribute and, and work with people expert in the field. Finally, to summarize this section, I would like to share with you the, the lessons I have learned uh, with the R&D team. So working with the research and development team really was a great uh, opportunity for me and a great experience both from a personal and professional level. I focus here on the soft skills I acquired working with system administrators and software developers at Ormuco. First, working with people expert in their field really allowed me to outperform myself and acquire advanced technical skills. Second, uh, working on several projects with different teams and with strict client requirements really gave me and my colleagues uh, advanced project and time management skills. Also, OpenStack really teaches, teaches you how to become independent and uh, work on your own. I think it's important when you're working with OpenStack 
to know how to use the documentation and to find the resources on your own. At the same time, you don't want to, stuck, to be stuck for too long on a given problem. If you cannot proceed without the assistance of others, ask for help and learn from them. Finally, because OpenStack is a fast moving train, it really teaches you to innovate and stay ahead of the technology. Okay, we're now moving to the third uh, section of my talk. As I grew up with the engineering team, as I developed my skills, I built an interest in the business side at Omuco. And indeed, in my third year, I had the opportunity to work on some business project for the company. Working on the business side with Omuco and with OpenStack really uh, gave me an understanding of OpenStack from a different perspective. And I finally understood uh, why OpenStack was important and how it was being used in real life. So to really understand and, and answer the question, why do we need OpenStack? Let's look at the challenges IT organizations face today. From a business perspective, IT organizations face a lot of competition from larger web-based companies. It's important for those organizations to keep up with the competition. It's important to have a faster time to market and to reduce the total cost of ownership. From an IT operation perspective, IT organizations want to deliver secure, on-demand and self-service capabilities to their customers. And finally, from a developer perspective, from the perspective of the developers of those IT organizations, it's important to have an infrastructure which is agile and cost-effective. Developers do not want to wait too long for resources. They want to be able to spin up test servers on the fly and reduce the software release cycle to the minimum. OpenStack brings many benefits to enterprise IT and can fill, can fill up the gap. First, OpenStack is speedy and agile. Developers, users could deploy test servers on the fly and use them on a pay-as-you-go model. Organization can also take advantage of the hybrid cloud to do cloud bursting. For example, whenever resources on private servers is too high, the demand is too high, they can burst the public cloud and shift the load. Third, there's a vibrant commercial ecosystem supporting OpenStack, promoting OpenStack, making this, this platform ideal for enterprise IT. And finally, OpenStack is an open source project built in a modular way. Organization can select which service they want to use, and they can even contribute back to those services and make them fit to their needs. To further understand the, you know, the benefit of OpenStack and, and the, uh, the advantages it can bring to enterprise customers, let's quickly look at a use case. This was a client we worked with at Ormuco, uh, a client in the public sector. They had more than, more than 800 servers, and they really wanted to perform an unprecedented technological change to stay a leader among smart cities. They were seeking a solution to have virtual resources for compute, storage, and networking for their own uh, operators. They also wanted their developers to use and develop application, database, API management, and business intelligence services. The Ormuco hybrid cloud, based on OpenStack, uh, provided the right solution. Uh, it, it brought reduced cost and increased operational efficiencies. Developers and operators could uh, use virtual resources uh, on the fly. The secure API and, and the auto-scaling feature of OpenStack brought uh, higher security and scalability. All of this led to better service to the citizens. Okay, so now that we understand the, the use case of OpenStack uh, and the benefit it can bring to, uh, to customers, how do you go as a service provider? How do you go into starting providing OpenStack clouds? Well, at Ormuco, we faced a similar challenge. As I mentioned earlier in my talk, 
uh, we started in 2008 as a tra traditional IT service provider. Back then, we were delivering uh, telephony and traditional data center solutions. In a few years only, we have shifted toward the OpenStack cloud model, and we now, and we now deliver hybrid, public, and private clouds based on OpenStack. Going through this transformation at Romuco brought many changes in our culture and organization. So the first thing we did at Romuco is to start with a pilot project. We kept our traditional uh, IT project active and running, and we built a test cloud on the side. This test cloud gave us the platform to train ourselves and develop our OpenStack skills. We started this project with one unique cross-functional team made of experienced system administrators and developers. This team was making all the decisions regarding long-term development and architecture. As we grew, we started to uh, divide ourselves and, into smaller teams, smaller specialized teams, and we invested a lot in employee training and onboarding. I myself, for example, I went through a series of technical and uh, business training to develop myself and contribute to, uh, to the OpenStack project at Ormuco. Finally, whenever your, your company is going through such transformation, it's important to keep track of your cost, keep track of your hardware acquisition, of your software acquisition, and develop tools to determine the long-term values this transformation can bring to your organization or your customers. It's important here to note that OpenStack brings many intangible benefits, such as uh, the improvement and developer performance and the, the overall uh, uh, performance of the uh, technological solution. I talk a lot in my talk about training, employee training. I found it useful at Tormuco to have a good balance between my soft skills and my hard skills. Robert Katz is a social and organizational psychologist. He defined three sets of skills all managers must have. First, the conceptual skills. Second, the human skills. And third, the technical skills. So whether you are a first-line manager or a top executive, you still need to have a good balance between those skills. For example, if you are managing developers or uh, engineers at your company, you still need to have IT skills to really uh, speak the language of your team and gain their trust and respect. On the other hand, if you are an IT person interested in the business side or in managing people or project, I would recommend you to develop your soft skills early on in your career. You can, for example, attend uh, communication classes or join a public speaking club like Toastmasters. As you grow in your career, you can uh, work later on on updating your IT skills to stay current with technological shifts. I've highlighted here my business project at Ormuco in my third year. I had the opportunity to contribute to the business side. For example, I developed business tools for the company I worked on uh, use cases for our customers, and I built a TCO calculator to estimate the cost of moving to the Ormuco cloud. I worked on some sales engineering projects, such as uh, RFPs, request for proposal, and technical demonstration. What I really want to focus here is how my engineering background and, and, and my, my IT skills allowed me to become successful delivering those business projects. For example, the hands-on experience I got with OpenStack and the technical understanding I acquired in my first two years really allowed me to uh, deliver detailed use case for our customers and partners and to respond effectively to the technical sections of RFPs. Also, the soft skills I acquired working in technical support and managing R&D project allowed me, gave me the confidence uh, to engage and interact with business clients and stakeholders. To summarize this section, uh, even though the IT and uh, the business uh, uh, world can seem quite opposite, you can bridge the gap with the right mindset. 
It is first important to understand the shift to the cloud. Traditional enterprise IT is no longer agile and flexible enough to meet current needs. We are moving toward a service and consumption model. This shift requires horizontal skill set. As a manager, I would recommend you to identify the most useful skills for your ongoing strategy and start training and developing your team on those skills. Uh, also, to bridge the gap between the IT and the business world, you can encourage in your company collaboration between IT and the business uh, departments. At Tormuco, what we did recently is to launch a, a launch and learn uh, program. Each week, we have one person from a different team uh, presenting, a, presenting a topic and sharing the knowledge among the staff. And uh, finally, it's important to develop your soft skills if you're an IT person or your IT skills if you're a manager. You really need to understand your audience and know, knowing how to communicate and deliver your message. So this brings me to the conclusion of my talk. At Tormuco, over three years uh, at Tormuco, I had the opportunity to acquire a diverse skill set and work in different aspects with OpenStack. My first year at Tormuco, I went through a steep learning curve to uh, get comfortable working with OpenStack. My second year at Tormuco, I received training and uh, strong mentorship to uh, become successful with, uh, with the r and team. And in my third year at Tormuco, I used my IT skill to my advantage to contribute to the business side. OpenStack is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to develop diverse skills and at the same time to contribute back to the community and the users. I still have much to learn myself, but I found so far from my experience that adaptability is extremely important. Always be willing to engage in new areas and embrace change. So again, thank you for your time and good luck in your respective careers. So I've put up my contact information, my email, and the link to download the slides. And we have uh, several minutes for questions. You can use the microphone uh, on the sides. Okay, so th thanks a lot, and uh, I'll be I'll, st I'll stay here to chat with you if you want. We are also at the uh, at the booth. Uh, we have a booth at the marketplace. You can feel free to come in and chat with me or my team. Thanks a lot. <laughs>